Former U.S. White House Deputy National Security Advisor Matthew Pottinger, also known as Bo Ming, recently commented that Chinese Communist Party, or CCP leader Xi Jinping, has continuously purged the military throughout his 12-year tenure. Pottinger believes that these actions indicate the CCP is preparing for war. In a special interview with Voice of America's In-Depth Perspective, Pottinger drew comparisons between Xi Jinping and Joseph Stalin. He pointed out that Mao Zedong was greatly influenced by Stalin's ideology and leadership style, and Xi Jinping in turn has been influenced by Mao. One common trait among these leaders is their consistent purging of their ranks to uphold the party's hold on political power. Pottinger argues that Xi sees the current global situation as unparalleled chaos, a perspective he has often shared with his close ally Vladimir Putin. When Xi took power in 2012, he initiated a military purge that was expected to last a year. However, it has now continued for 12 years, resembling a Stalinist approach. Pottinger noted that Stalin's purge of the Soviet Red Army lasted until the outbreak of war, and that Xi similarly applied this tactic to the Chinese military. He dismantled his team and senior military generals, which has puzzled many. Pottinger remarked, he speculates that one of the main reasons for Xi's military purge is his belief that he has not yet positioned the precise team necessary to wage war against Taiwan and the United States. Thus, Pottinger concludes that this Stalin-style purge is a symptom of the CCP's institutional flaws and a stark warning. It shows that Xi Jinping is actually preparing for war. Pottinger believes that the war between Russia and Ukraine is essentially a proxy war for the CCP. He observed that Beijing employs a similar strategy in the Middle East by being Iran's top economic, propaganda, and diplomatic supporter. Beijing is increasingly overt in supporting these proxy activities. Regarding the belief that Chinese people are not suitable for democracy, Pottinger rejected this idea as ridiculous, giving Taiwan as an example. He highlighted that the island nation, with its strong Chinese heritage, is currently ranked first in the Global Democracy Index even ahead of the United States and the United Kingdom. Pottinger stressed that any regime change in China would be determined by the Chinese people. He also expressed support for the country's people in their pursuit of democracy, acknowledging that this process has yet to unfold. He also expressed confidence in the potential of the Chinese people, saying, The Chinese people are our best allies in this competition. Pottinger encouraged Taiwan to engage more with people across the Taiwan Strait, despite efforts by Beijing to silence such communication. Taiwan should make extra efforts to ensure its story is heard as much as possible by the people on the other side, he concluded.